What have you done to her? I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot mm. leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Oh gosh, dealing with demons once again. Let you have the girl? You mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Um... Angelus is gonna lie his way through this. Persuade slash lie. I'll free you and you can have the girl. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! Yeah, Angelus is- I've always is wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Angelus, um, he's not stupid. He- He's able to put two and to get two and two together and realize that that kitty is really the demon, the demon that um, the mage guy was was using his experiments on. Um, so yeah, he's no. I like there's, it when kitty sings to me. He's first thing he's gonna make sure that the girl is safe, and once the girl is safe, he's gonna try to stop that demon from doing whatever it is she's supposed to want to do. Um. It looks like what we have to do is you have to connect these flames from this square over to this square. And I let's get started. Have solved Father this doesn't before. Like cats, but he never met Kitty. But I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out as you wish how to do it. Hold on, let's see. I think this should be easy enough. Hopefully, this won't take forever, guys. Um. I will do my best to do this as quickly as possible. I'm trying to do this without having to look anything up. Um, right. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Yeah, yeah, kid. I'm. Don't bother me right Let's now. Let's get started. I'm trying to concentrate here. All right, we need this thing up here because I want to bring. Um, I want to bring. Actually, yeah, let's bring... Kitty is my best friend. Right. right. I don't know what the fastest solution is, but I'll do my best to get a solution from this. On. I want this thing down here. As you wish. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> yeah, just keep the kitty distracted for me, will you, kid? On it. Um, this should be easy yeah, enough. I want this down here. As you wish. And. Yeah, this will go here. Which means. Tell me a story. This will go here. I need more As you wish. of these tiles, because I need this thing to go down. Yeah, As you wish. To go down. So we'll bring this over here. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. All right. We're almost there. I just need to... On it. Bring this here, and we're pretty close. This should be easy enough. I think I almost got it. Hold on. I need to bring this Kitty here. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Yes. This should be easy enough. Terrible, terrible. Just, just, just hold tight, okay, kid. 
Hold tight. I'm almost done with this. Right. And then hopefully we'll be able to get out of this mess together. There we go. They are connected. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. I said I'd free you. I didn't say I'd let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Sick Kitty, him, Sky. you're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Run away, kid. Now let's see who she really is, gang. Ooh. Ooh. Angelus is not a fan of boobies. Gotta get rid of the boobies. Alright. Rage demons. A little frantic? I can see why! Right. Ooh, Kitty is awake again. Alright, I'm determined to be able to take down her... Okay, um... If I give her... Yeah, if I give her melee weapons, then she won't be able to shoot. Yeah. And I the will. Waiting. Yeah, stop shooting, guys. I want to actually devour this person. I want to devour. Let me devour! Ready. Oh, great. Yeah, that's enough, Morgan. That's enough. Cease and desist, guys. Hi. No? Yeah, um... Yeah, go over there. So I can devour... Armed and dangerous, ready for action. There we go. Oh, she resisted. Oh, gone it. That was disappointing. <sighs> it's alright. The important thing is we saved the little girl. On Helm of Hunolith. Plus two to all attributes? Yes! Yes! And then Court of Shattered Dreams. Plus three willpower and plus ten mental resistance. Oh, yes! Yes. Oh yes. Oh, but I need 32 strength. No, no. Oh, that would have been perfect. I need I need a lot more strength, don't I? Blast. How much does Angelus have? 26. Not quite close. All right, we'll just give that to someone else. Until Angelus is strong enough to use it. Plus two, plus two to all abilities is is fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> Lesser shade. This should be easy enough. Crystals do we soul crystals do we have? Twenty-eight? Okay. Make it be praised. Alright, folks. Let's make sure that the little girl managed to get back to her pop safely. Our shades. Sheesh. Show me what you've got. There we go. It is done. Good stuff. Let us continue moving on. Ah, here we are. You did it. You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. 
I was so scared. Aww. It's all right, butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. You'll need a phrase to activate Shale. It's Doolan Han. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Thank you. All right, well... I guess... Um... We're gonna try using that... That, uh, phrase on the golem now. Maybe it'll work this time. Hopefully, there are no more dark spawn. I would hate for... I would hate to go through all that trouble only to have them step outside of their house and get hacked by a dark spawn. That would... That would not be cool. But, um... I think I cleared all the dark spawn out here, so they should be safe escaping. Okay, Mr. Gollum, let's try this again. It would be pretty cool to have our very own Gollum, you know? Dolan Han. Um. Uh oh. Oh, it's moving. Uh oh. Hi, nice golem. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Ooh, it talks too. Wow. Im that's pretty impressive, actually. It's a big giant talking rock soldier and how do you know I'm not a mage it thinks these crystals are simply for show I see huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for oh I have no idea how long many many years oh you poor dear that would be really really boring then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Not all of them, no. I take it, th I take it that wouldn't concern you? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Did you watch the attack? Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Uh... Why are you calling me it? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Well, don't get any funny ideas, Gollum. <laughs> so long as it holds the control rod, I could not crush its skull, even if I wished to. Not that I do, yet. Mm. Yet there is something odd here. Go on. Order me to do something. Uh... Uh... All right. Uh... Give Zevron a hug. <clears throat> I, uh... I don't appreciate foreign objects invading my personal space. Well, usually. And, oh, uh... Nothing. I feel nothing. Uh, I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... Broken? Whoa. oh uh, so, so you don't have to do what? You don't have to do everything I tell you? Uh, uh oh. This could be bad. Uh. Well, hmm. 
Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Well... I don't intend to... I don't necessarily intend to do anything with you. Ah, how unexpected. Yet refreshing. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Angelus, as as scary, at least initially, as scary as this golem was to Angelus, Angelus kind kind of feels very sympathetic towards towards the golem because um, he understands what it's like to basically be treated like a slave. Um, it, granted, he wasn't necessarily a slave in the alienage, but he knows that many of his people were, and some actually are, in certain areas of the world. Um, so he, he kind of feels where this golem is coming from, and so I think he is kind of happy that the golem um, has found some free will and is free from is free to do whatever the golem wants. Hopefully, that doesn't include smashing Angelus in the face. Hopefully, although if he wants to smash Logan in the face, that probably would be perfectly fine by us. Uh. What do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? You killed your former master, supposedly, though. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Uh, I don't know. It could have been possible. It's it's very possible that that this golem did kill his master, but I don't know. Part of me feels like it was actually the demon, and you're being made to at least at first think it was the golem who did it. I noticed you didn't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. Oh, we have a comedic... We've got a comedic golem here. And how do I know you can be trusted? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? That's a... That's a good point. They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. Well, you're welcome to come with me if you'd like. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. Shale? Shale? Is is that supposed to be a joke? Not like standing frozen for 30 years while pelted with bird feces. Now that is a joke. Oh. Okay, guys. Welcome to our... We Here we are welcoming our most... Peculiar party member yet, Shale. Um, very peculiar Lost indeed. And yes. Wow. Well, let's see. Leliana leveled up, so I think we want to increase her dexterity more. I think. Um, let's give her the Master Combat Training. She needs to be level 12 to get that. Actually, is her cunning... Yeah, her cunning is 22. Yeah, and she... 
Yeah, Song of Courage sounds good. The bard launches into an epic song of parties, the song of the party's exploits, granting them bonus to attack, damage, and critical chance. Sides of the bonuses are affected by the bard's cunning. The bard can only sing one song at a time. Cool. And <laughs> for Shale, Shale is able to equip all of these crystals that we kept finding. So this is a large shipped spirits crystal. We'll give we'll give Shale um flawed, 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 clear, small clear natural crystal. Plus two constitution, plus two health generation in combat, and plus fifteen percent nature nature damage. Converts all damage into nature damage. And we'll try to give him a give him a matching set. So we'll give him a large flawed nature crystal, which gives plus twenty percent resistance. So we'll get a item set bonus. Cool. Gollum, the Golem Shale you'll find is quite is good is quite an interesting character. I mean, all of the characters are interesting, but you know, right from the get go, you can tell that Shale is is definitely unique. Let's use that key to open this thing. On. Small flawed lightning crystal and Olaf's prize cheese knife. Um, can Angelus use this? Yep. Plus two armor penetration. Although the Oathkeeper has a lot more going for him, so maybe Zevron will want at the edge and No, I think I think Zevron's perfectly happy with what he has. But we'll keep the cheese knife in our inventory just in case. Okay. So... That was the... What's going on? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little dark humor there. Shale is known for that. So that was the um, one of the DLCs, actually, guys. What you just saw was the Stone Prisoner DLC, which adds... Uh, Shale is not necessarily in the original game, but uh, he is a DLC party member. Very cool DLC party member. Let's go back to camp. See how things are going. Cause we do, we we know we've we've had a long day. We went and saved a girl from a demon, and we got ourselves a new party member. And I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Oh, that's right. If you remember, Wynn passed out uh, when last we when last we used her in our party. Yeah, you had me quite worried there, Wynn. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. That's a really bad joke, Wynn. It's not a joke, I promise. Let me explain. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp i hmm. felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again i began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor so wait a minute when are you telling me that you you actually died and now you're back to life are you essentially telling me that you're an undead are, are you a zombie win? Are you... Do you secretly sneak off from camp to eat brains or something? Because that's... 
that's not something that I necessarily saw coming. I Please tell me I'm wrong. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Okay, so let me get this straight. So you have demons who possess other people for essentially selfish and malicious things. And then there are good spirits that possess people to keep them from to keep them alive even though they're supposed to be dead. Uh-huh. Win, I'm kind of hurt. I can't believe you kept this from me. I didn't know if you were ready to hear it, but now you know. Well, thank you for letting me know, Win. Wow. That's kind of cool. Win is a zombie, folks. She's a good zombie. <laughs> no, I don't think she's exactly a zombie, but yeah. It's a it's a it's an interesting thought. Um Roland, I feel like I haven't given you much attention, Roland. So let me shower you with gifts. Believe it or not, Roland actually likes bones. I guess he likes to chew on them sometimes. Oh, it's lovely. Not exactly Thank sure you very much. what exactly he does with these bones, but he seems to like them. So, But let me give him something else that's probably... Um, here, have a tribal necklace. Oh, it's lovely. And a Thank silver bracelet. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Roland. Here's a silver bracelet. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you very much. Let's see if um, our buddy Roland here has anything new to talk to us about. My friend, I was wondering how your life was before this. Were you happy? Do you have a family? Uh, yeah, actually. Um... I was happy. I actually miss my family a lot. I'm glad to hear that. And I'm sure you'll have a proud family to return to when this is over. You know, I like to have these conversations from time to time. In the few moments of peace we have. Oh. Well, thank you, Roland. I, I'm glad that you decided to open up to me a little bit more. Especially after, you know, our adventure into the Fade. Um, I did... I did kind of pull you out of a sticky situation, so I'm I'm kind of glad that we're we're talking, Roland. Um, yeah, I would enjoy talking with you like this more often. Hmm. By the look of the others, they're not particularly impressed. Come, let's go. Make sure to come by later so we can speak again. Sure. Sure. Why not? How about right now, Roland? Yes. What can I do for you? I want to ask you a question about the past. Of course. Uh... Do you remember the day you arrived at the castle? How could I forget? That's the day my life changed forever. It took me many days to arrive there, and honestly, I didn't want to go. My huh. father had talked about the future, my duty, making him proud, and many other things that I didn't care about. I just wanted to stay at home with the people I knew. But you changed your mind? I did. After many days of travel with my father, imploring him to take me back, by the way, we arrived at the biggest castle I had ever seen. The Tern and Terna were there. I was intimidated, to say the least. They asked me to wait outside while they arranged things. I was sinking emotionally, and then I saw the Tern son. Hmm. So you made a friend? Indeed. And he gave me a big warm smile that I still remember. At that moment, I knew it wasn't going to be that bad. Still, it took me a while to get used to it. I must admit, I cried myself to sleep the first few nights. But the family was always very nice to me. Oh. 
Well, it's nice that they all liked you. Yes, there was that strange familiarity, wasn't there? To them, I was Rory. I slept in the barracks with the other squires and soldiers. I trained with them, too. But the Lord's children had the same tutor as me, and they always had a kind word when they saw me about. I always had a small something for my birthdays waiting for me in the barracks. I am very grateful to the Tan and all his family. Well, that's good to know, Roland. I'm glad to hear that. Yes? What can I do for you? Uh, let's keep talking, Roland. Of course. I, I, I'm, now that we've started, I want to hear more about, you know, hear more about, uh, what things was like. How was your life at the ca how was your life at the castle? Ah, uh, the castle. I was happy there. Yes, I was far from my own family, but the Kuzlans always made me feel welcome. And of course, my fellow knights and guards. We were quite a big contingency. What can I say? I had food in my belly, good friends, and I was getting an education. I was a bit of a troublemaker, but not a bad kid all around. Tr troublemaker, really? Um... Ah, uh, Angelus probably would. Uh, I'm a bit envious of your life. I don't see why you would. Most of it is how you look at it. I'm sure I can come up with some sad stories if I think hard enough, but I prefer to remember only the good parts. Well, that's... that's actually a good way to go about it. Um... Sounds like good times. Oh, they were. Maybe later, if you feel like it. I can teach you a thing or two about being a rascal. Hmm. <laughs> yes? What can I do for you? Uh, do you have anything else to talk about about the past? Of course. Uh, maybe not. I'll be here when you do, then. Let me just make sure that... Yes? There's nothing else what he wants can to I talk do about. For you? I don't think that there is. Of course. Okay. We'll talk again later. Roland. Um, but meanwhile, do you have anything new to, s to talk about, Sky? Are you okay, Sky? You good? Aww. Give you a pet. There we go. He rolls around happily on his back. Good doggy. Good Mabari Hound doggy. Uh, let me save real quick before we continue on.